All right, after I had a first look at this um, Lumix LX15 or LX10 as you call it, I think I owe you guys a little explanation. Um, the first one got sent back because it had a horrible big pink blob in the middle. You might have seen it in the first video. This is why I redo this uh, sort of first glance uncomprehensive review of this. <laughs> So this is the Lumix LX15 or LX10 as it's called in America, I think. Um, I like that camera. Uh, please excuse, I already prepared it for vlogging. I put this windshield on so it doesn't really pick up so much wind noise. The microphones are just in an awful place. It shouldn't be there. It should be somewhere hidden or something. I don't know. That place is just bad. The wind goes over it and you barely hear any of the talking. What I like about this camera is, of course, the screen that flips open and you can actually just uh, look at yourself while you're vlogging. It has a dedicated aperture ring that makes it look like a manual camera, one of those Leicas. It also has a um, ring that changes the focus if you want to but also can be assigned to other functions like for example the zoom which is pretty useful if you want to grab the camera and just zoom something into it then there is a wheel that normally is assigned to shutter speed i assigned it to the iso because i think changing the shutter, shutter i assigned it to the iso because i think changing the shutter, shutter what the wheel that changes the shutter speed <laughs> filming changing the shut shutter speed i <laughs> changing the shutter, shutter speed <laughs> is it that difficult the sh shutter speed <laughs> then there is this wheel that's assigned to the shutter speed i reassigned it to the iso changing the iso seems to me um, a little more filmic than changing the shutter speed while filming that to me doesn't really sound like a good idea then those function buttons carry a little logo on them you might reassign them you might not only you will definitely reassign them because um, changing to 4k photo or something like that doesn't really make sense if you're filming with it also there is the menu functions on the touch screen where you can change and reassign those buttons and you have all the other functions that you are used to have on a touch screen. Even if the, the lens goes to 1.4, um, I rather think you wouldn't shoot in this aperture, mainly because as soon as you go out of the wider lens areas, it goes down to 2.8 so keep it locked to 2.8 and you're fine what i really don't like about this lens that comes out really far when i go to tele is the amount of glass that just up here right at the border of the lens so every light that comes from the side hits that glass and creates a lot of flares which i like but I really don't like the huge big pink blob that he created just in the middle of the image on the other camera I just sent back. So the pink blob actually went away and now we have some nice lens flares, how I like them. Um, apart from it really being necessary to avoid those, those light conditions. The touchscreen itself, for me, is pretty useful to change the area of focus and all that stuff. It is pretty useful, especially when you're vlogging with it and you try to sort of reach to things that are really bad to reach and they're on the back of the camera and yeah, it's easier like that. There are a few things that I don't really like about that camera, one being that mount does it really have to go all the way here if you attach um, a tripod or something 
If you're vlogging and holding the camera the Casey Neistat style, so holding it like this um, with something, you will have to change the battery every now and then. So now, now what? You, you, you can't reach the battery now. You can't even pull out your card. Also, they claim you can charge the camera through the USB port that it has. But I don't want to stop filming for one hour to connect it to some power supply or some battery pack. I mean, those batteries are just not thick enough to to think that they will last one day. They last for, I mean, on this camera right now, I carry around for about two and a half hours and then the battery is done. So what I really like about this camera is the ability to shoot at 100 frames per second. This is just really great for a camera of that size. It does that in full HD. The only downside is that functionality can be assigned to any of those buttons. So Panasonic next time for the next firmware, perhaps you put this really, really nice feature in the high speed video on the list of things that can be assigned to those buttons. That would be just great. And of course, some other features from the big Panasonic cameras came into that camera. One is you can actually post focus. That means you shoot in a special mode and then the camera offers you to choose the portion of the image that should be in focus. So you're actually running the focus point around in the image. Um, one more thing is what they call 4K photo. It's a mode where you basically just shoot a little film and pick that one frame that you like. Some other things uh, might be useful for photographers like um, the the little flashlight that comes out here. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if I ever need a flashlight, if I, if I ever need one. The camera itself feels pretty solid. It's uh, metally touching, it feels good. It's small enough to fit into your pocket and the price is just so much lower than the Sony equivalent. A run and gun, point and shoot, to vlog, this is just a great camera. It will not replace your big DSLR. Mainly that camera serves you with all the latest features, 4K video, high speed video, a very decent HD, which I think is what most people will use because of the upload times and all the handling on your computer. 4K still is a drag to work on. And uh, yeah, apart from those little flaws that it has, it seems to be a good camera to carry along when you are traveling or just on the run. So feel free to subscribe or like. Thanks a lot. See you next time. this online and if I don't get back to you until tomorrow please call a doctor <laughs>